Welcome back. It's time to hand out hardware for Coach of the Year in the ranks of AA. And look who's here. Lawrence is here with me. And, uh, oh, yeah. Lawrence, uh, every time we, we think about AA, I know you think about Santa Rosa. And that uh, offense, you know, what can I say? <laughs> okay, well, we're going to see if that offense was good enough. You, can, you can't leave Eunice out, which brings us to our list right. of candidates. Daniel Hutchins for Eunice. All he did was lead the Cardinals to a perfect season until they got to the playoffs, of course. And they they kind of lost it in the championship game there. It's always tough. You have a perfect season, but you don't win the big one. Yeah, that's, that's rough, man. Brian Archery had the Texaco Wolverines suffer a setback in the second week of the regular season. But, man, they ran the table the rest of the season on their way to the postseason where Santa Rosa knocked them out. And Mario Trujillo won the award last year. The Santa Rosa coach once again leading the Mighty Lions to the state championship where they defeated the Eunice Cardinals. And the winner is... Mario Trujillo of Santa Rosa, <laughs> huh? Not too bad. You knew you. I think you knew you knew that. You knew who the winner <laughs> was going to be because uh, Mario. Congratulations to you for winning it again. And you know, like we always say, you can't do it without the players. You know, like mm -hmm. if the players aren't good and if the players aren't well, willing to listen to uh, supervision, you yeah, can't have right. a championship team. So with that said, let's talk about our players of the year and double A. All right, we got uh, Tyler Almaguer. I guess he passed for, or he accounted for 4,000 yards for Eunice. Is it, did that he is, learn from you? Yeah, you used to be a quarterback at Rio Rancho. I never put up those kind of numbers. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so hey, you're supposed I was a to sub. embellish the story. I yeah. gave you a chance. Yeah, you know, so. I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, 4,000 yards. Kudos to that kid. I just hooked you up, man, and you just. <laughs> Come on, Lawrence. You, you can't set do me that up to for me. failure, man. That's what you did right there. <laughs> well, a pair of uh, Santa Rosa players rounding out the list and talking about elusive running back. Josh Tenario was like the stealth runner because of that misdirection offense, and you just don't know what's going to happen. You know, yeah, you know, both those guys uh, are obviously on the list because, yeah, you're right. You know, that misdirection is so hard to see, and uh, time and time again, they, they just proved to be the best. Tim Valverde, you know, the opening up holes at fullback, and he also wrecked the competition from his linebacker position. Now it is time to answer who's the winner. All right, well, it is the <laughs> Eunice Tyler, quarterback. Yeah, Tyler Almaguer. You, did, Tyler did you think Almaguer. this was coming to Lawrence? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, hey, 4,000 yards, I think you deserve a plaque. I think you're that. biased towards quarterbacks. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit biased towards quarterbacks, to say the least. But, uh, you know, putting up those kinds of numbers, you have to get recognized. Well, you know what? He also was in the neighborhood of 70 touchdowns. He also talked to us this week through his school. The school set him up, and he gave us a response to his award. My senior year being player of the year in 2A, it's a pretty big deal. Being the last time I've ever played football again, to my teammates, they would be proud of me, and none of this would be possible without them. Talk about this season and what stands out the most. What stands out the most is going undefeated. In, it was the first time since 1958, and winning every game at home was big. And the only thing I I wish we could have got that last W. Any advice you have to give to underclassmen looking to make their mark going into next season? Just give 100% on the football field and off, especially in the weight room and in practice, and don't have any regrets. All right, that brings us to single now and the Coach of the Year candidates. Uh, that list, man, that oh, first name there, you know who that is. Charles Gleghorn of Mesilla Valley. Yeah, okay. Matt, Matt Moyer of Fort Sumner and Eric Behill of McCurdy. Yeah, and, and you know, you think about all the body of work that all those coaches did. Mm -hmm. Gleghorn, you know, I mean, he, he was uh, phenomenal. He did like a kind Only of Daryl three King. years, yeah. Yeah, did a uh, Daryl King dig. Uh, yeah, you know, and, that, and, that, and that's impressive to do, you know, because as, as you know, it, it takes a lot to get a program on, off and running. Right. And, uh, and he did it there. His team cannot fly under the radar anymore because of that. Our single A player of the year candidates, and uh, we have three to tell you about. And of course, it's going to be Masia Valley's going to be represented because they won the championship. Tim Vita, the quarterback, Tri Correa of Masia Valley, also his top receiver. They get together on the list. And Skyler McMath of Fort Sumner. Skyler could do it all in a program that is a story program. The winner, Tim Vita of Masia Valley. Now, Tri Correa, if, if you're watching this at all, you need to get with Tim and tell him to share his award with you because if you didn't look good out there on the field catching passes, he wouldn't have this award right now. Well, good for Tim, living La Vida Loca, huh? <laughs> I look at you. Now Now you respond, man. I'm trying to set you up for, like, glory days. That was days too easy. Quarterback. Yeah, glory days, man. Hey, you know, I got a Letterman jacket, and that's all I could really say about that. Well, time to find <laughs> out what's on the way in double-A and single-A. Kyle Henderson is back with a look at both. 
2A Santa Rosa should be the favorite in 2012. Tim Valverde, who ran for over 1,000 yards along with Marcus Lopez, both returned for the Santa Rosa single wing attack. No 2A team in the past 10 years has three-peated, and potentially Santa Rosa could be that first team. Marcus Lopez, Tim Valverde, definitely guys to watch in Santa Rosa. At the Class 1A level, Mesilla Valley, definitely a team to watch, but remember they're hopping back to 2A in 2012, so you got to go with the Fort Sumner Foxes. Big time program at the Class 1A level. All right, sounds good. Sounds like he knows what he wants to do with all that. And you know what? Who's that big guy in the shot back there? I was just getting ready to get to that. Robert Pugsley has been on the show helping us with video all year. We've been trying to get him out on the show because you guys never see him. You see him at the games, but I wonder if you actually know who I'm talking about. He won't come. He's, he's big he's, and he is bald. <laughs> he's in the back of Kyle's shot. And, and, he's, and he's in the back of the shot and he won't come out. I cannot believe that we're done. There he we're, is. We got a final is. season. Look, you see the, the back of Pugs' head with the yeah. Dallas Cowboys start. Cowboys fan. Yeah. Pugs, wave. Yeah. Come on, Pugs, turn around and wave. Pugs will not wave. Oh, hey, man. we'll see you guys oh. next season. It's been a wonderful season. New Mexico, ChevyDealers.com. <laughs> Football Friday Night Show is out.